And all of us have experienced betrayal at some point in our lives. And if this isn't your testimony, then as the old folks would say, keep on living. It happens throughout the course of life for the child who has a close friend that turns against you. For the teenager that has a lie that destroys a relationship. For the young adult, the hurtful words spoken about you when you weren't around. And as an adult, the ideas that were stolen and you never got any credit for them at work by the very people you thought you could trust. And if I pass the mic around this room, all of us have a story that is so horrific and so hurtful about being betrayed. Now we could handle being betrayed by people we don't know, but it's the ones that we love, the ones that we slept with, hung out with, went out of town with, grew up with, shared wedding, graduation, anniversary, and birthdays with, those are the ones that hurt the most. You expect it from others, but the people you've allowed in your house, the people you sat in their beds and watched TV with, the folks are the ones that cut the deepest because you don't expect it. It came out of nowhere. You allowed your guard down. You were caught slipping because anyone else, you would never allow to get that close to you. Huh? Anyone else would have never known where you live, where you hang out, who you booed up with. I need someone to post this on social media. Everything doesn't need to be posted on social media. Huh? But then I found out that there are some social media stars. They want everybody to know where they go and who they're with and what they're doing. Uh, can I tweet this real quick? Uh, some folks are patrolling timelines uh, just to be nosy uh, because they don't have anything else going on in their lives. Be careful of what you post on social media. Uh, be mindful of what you share because there are people lurking around your page just to know what's going on in your life. Uh, my beloved and the Lord, there are some folks out there who want to be you. Uh, and I need someone to hear me this morning. Uh, make sure you're careful who you share your dreams with uh, because those who ain't got no dreams uh, won't understand your dreams. Uh, be careful of who you let get close to you huh? because there are folks out there who are blood sucking leeches huh? and who only want to take from you, latch on to you huh? and to see what they can get from you I believe I got some witnesses in the house huh? as we saw in the movie clip, the ones that we think we can trust, huh? the ones we put our confidence in, huh? oftentimes are the very ones that betray us I believe I'm not the only one in the house this morning who has some people who listen to the old J's that smile in your face. Yeah. All the time they're trying to take your place. Those backstabbers. I'm loaded down, dirty backstabbers. I, I, I know you don't believe me, but I'm, I'm, make, I'm not making this up, but I'm in Bible countries right there in our text this morning. Uh, and his name is Judas. Uh, my beloved the Lord, we don't know a lot about Judas except that Jesus and the other disciples trusted him a great deal because Judas was the treasurer. Uh, Jesus, Jesus had picked all of the disciples, including Judas, to be with him, to share with him for three years. Uh, Judas was saw what Jesus saw, uh, heard what Jesus heard, uh, ate what Jesus ate, uh, slept where Jesus slept, and went where Jesus went. Uh, but the text tells us Jesus says that there will be one uh, who eats with me who will betray me, huh? And the text tells us one said, surely not I, Rabbi. Huh? And I need to let someone in the house know that you don't have to want to know who will betray you. Huh? They'll tell on themselves. Yeah. Somebody needs to write that down. Huh? Yeah. You don't have to wonder who will betray you huh? because they will tell on themselves. You don't have to try to figure out who it is. Huh? You don't have to put a plan together to catch them. Huh? They'll always tell on themselves huh? because betrayers can't keep it to themselves. Huh? I want to help someone this morning. Keep your eyes wide open. Huh? And make sure you're listening because the betrayers among you uh, will show you and tell you whom they are. Uh, someone needs to hear me good this morning. Betrayers think they're smarter than they actually are. Uh, betrayers will always slip up and say the wrong thing at the right time. Uh, betrayers will be among you and will do something and say something uh, that will expose themselves. Uh, that's why I keep on telling you, uh, you better make sure you've got a spirit of discernment. Uh, make sure you're praying for wisdom. Uh, make sure you have your eyes wide open uh, and you're paying attention and listen to what they say because the Bible says huh, what comes out of a person's mouth huh, comes from their heart huh, and defiles that person. Huh. While they're trying, like what are they saying? Huh, they've been thinking for a while. Huh, what they're saying, huh, they've been plotting and planning on. Huh, what they're saying has been in their heart for a while. They were just waiting for the right opportunity to do it. I want you to know though, there's a blessing in betrayal. That is, we have to be like 
Jesus and bless our betrayer. Somebody better write that down. Huh? Put that in your notes. Post that somewhere. Huh? I know you don't believe it, but it's right there in the text. After Judas runs his mouth, huh? Jesus knows who's going to betray him. He eats with them huh? and then goes on to serve them. Jesus does the unthinkable. Huh? He blesses his betrayer. Huh? Now I need you to know this sermon huh? is for mature believers only. Huh? It's a rated R sermon because those who can't come, who have to be home huh? before the street lights come on, can't have of this kind of living. Huh? Those who got to go to bed at a certain time huh, won't be able to do this. Those who got to get a permission slip signed huh, to go somewhere ain't going to try to live like this. But my beloved in the Lord, huh, only kingdom people huh, can serve those who are setting you up to fail. Huh? Only kingdom people huh, can break bread with backstabbers. Huh? Kingdom people huh, want to act like Jesus, talk like Jesus, live like Jesus, huh, and be like Jesus. Jesus showed us something huh, so out of the ordinary, huh, so radical, so orthodox. To bless your betrayal. That's a hard pill for someone in the house to swallow. Huh? But it's the word that God has for you. Huh? If you really want to be like Jesus, huh? then you got to do what he did and bless your betrayal. Huh? May I take the time to remind you huh? that the Bible says bless those that curse you. Huh? Bless and do not curse. Huh? The Bible says if your enemy is hungry, huh? feed them. Huh? If your enemy is thirsty, give them something to drink. Huh? I want to remind someone this morning that God said this is mine, thus says the Lord. Let God handle it. God can do a better job at being God than you can ever do. Let God be God. I said to one of my preacher friends the other day about this very thing. I said to him, you do believe that God is sovereign, right? Which means that God is in charge. You do trust God, don't you? Then why are you worried about what people are doing to you? If you want to know the blessing of betrayal, it's simply that it forces you to trust God. You trust in everyone and everything else but God. You trust in the pew to hold you that you sat down on, even though you weren't around when it was made. You trust the house to provide shelter for you, even though you weren't there when it was being constructed. You trust your car to take you where you want to go, even though you weren't there when it was being manufactured. You trust in things that will break and rust and can be stolen and burned down and taken away. You trust in things uh, more than you trust in God. Uh, and someone in the house this morning uh, knows what I'm talking about. Uh, you trust in the job, uh, not the one that gave you the job. Uh, you trust in money uh, and not the one who gave you the job to get the money. Uh, why do we trust in everything uh, and everyone else but the one that made us, uh, created us, uh, sustains us, uh, and keeps us? Uh, my beloved in the Lord, the blessing of betrayal is what God does in you. God wants to do something in you. And that is, God wants you to trust him more than you trust anything else. God wants you to love him more than anything. God wants you to let him be in charge of your life. Let him heal you and have you completely dependent upon him and him alone. That's the blessing of betrayal is that God wants you to lean, trust, and depend on him alone. And maybe there's somebody in the house this morning who can keep it 100 and say they trusted the wrong people and trusted in things that faded, went out of style, got wrinkled, didn't stand up always and would not remain the same. You catch that on the way going home. I want someone in the house who will make up in their mind to trust God and not stuff. Not a job, but God. Not clothes, but God. Not a house, but God. Not a pension, but God. Not anything else or anyone, but God. Don't you know that God is a jealous God? And he said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And some of us in the house have made some things and some people idols in our lives. And put them before God that woke you up this morning. Put them before the God that started you on your way. Put them before the God that put food on your table. Clothes on your back. Before the God has never been laid on a child support payment, uh, never showed up when you didn't need him, uh, and never turned his back. I want you to know something else about the blessing of betrayal. That is, that it allowed your heart to break 
forcing open cracks that could only be healed by the grace of God. I'm going to say that one more time. Huh? The blessing of the trick is that it allowed you, allowed your heart to break, forcing open cracks that only could be healed huh, by the grace of God. God has allowed these things to happen so that you could understand his grace, huh? feel his grace, huh? experience his grace, huh? recognize his grace, huh? and then extend his grace. Huh? Church folks don't know when to shout. Huh? I found out huh, that people who don't extend grace huh, have never experienced grace. I want to say that one more time. Huh? People that don't extend grace huh, have never experienced grace. Huh? When you know that grace huh, is your song the praise huh, because it was grace huh, that brought you liberty huh, if you do not know huh, just how he came huh, to love your soul huh, if you know he looked beyond your faults huh, and seen every one of your needs huh, you can extend grace to even the people huh, who don't deserve it huh, because when you look at yourself huh, you know you don't deserve his grace huh, you are living huh, because of grace huh, working huh, because of grace huh, riding huh, because of grace huh, living because of you know that everything you have huh, is because of grace. Huh, because you ain't been that good. Huh, you ain't been that cute. Huh, you ain't that holy. Huh, you ain't that righteous. Huh, why you look beyond your folks huh, and see every one of your in our DNA. Huh? We know we're supposed to go left and we go right. Huh? We're supposed to fast, but we eat anyway. Huh? We're supposed to pray, but we worry all night long. Huh? We're supposed to trust God, but we trust everybody else. Huh? All of us got some Judas tales uh, in the house this morning, huh? but God still loves us huh? and wants to transform us huh? if we let him. Huh? God wants to make us better, only complete disciples. Huh? But God won't force his way on us. God wants to be needed by us. God delights when we say we need him. The, the, the blessing of betrayal will help us move from good confidence to God confidence. Relying on God and God's word must always take precedent over anything anyone else says. Don't you know God can speak to you just like God speaks to others about you? You got to try the spirit by the spirit. You find out if this is what you want or if this is what God wants. You got to ask yourself, is this you asking God to co-sign on what you want? Is this you asking God to bless what you want? It comes down to this. Do you want what you want or do you want what God wants for you? When you have God confidence, you are led by God in all that you say and all that you do. When you have God confidence, you allow the Spirit to speak to you. When you're off track and you listen. When you have God confidence, you deal with people in different ways and other people deal with people. When you have God confidence, you'll learn who your real friends are. And they stick with you even when all hell is breaking loose. Huh? Notice if you will, huh? right after this time with Jesus, huh? Judas goes and kisses Jesus huh? as a sign to say, this is the one. Huh? Can I throw this one in for free? Huh? Be careful who you're allowed to kiss you. Huh? It just may be a setup. I want to say that one more time. Huh? Be careful huh? who you're allowed to kiss you. Huh? It just may be a setup. Huh? When you have God confidence, huh? it will tell you who your real ride or die friends for life are. Huh? Folks who support you, huh? who will be down with you, who will cry with you, huh? who will encourage you in the Lord. Huh? I want someone to know the blessing of betrayal huh? is that you'll find out who is really down with you. If 
you down in a hole. Yes. And they ain't there to come see about you. They ain't real. If you are sick and they don't come to see you, they ain't real. Oh, yeah. <coughs> if you are broke and they ain't trying to help you, they ain't real. Yeah. Yeah. Being betrayed will show you who is real and who is fake. Right. Well, I want you to see something else about the blessing of betrayal. And that is, it'll give you a new perspective. Yes, it will. There are seasons in life, yes, and being betrayed will show you whose season is over, and will show you wow. what has to die in your life. I want to say that one more time. Huh? Being betrayed huh? will show you whose season is over, huh? and will show you what has to die in your life. Huh? I need to let someone know, huh? don't try to resurrect some things that God has allowed to die. Don't try to resurrect some things huh, that God has allowed to die in your life. Huh. Don't try to bring things back to life. Huh. The relationships that God has allowed to die. Huh. Don't try to keep something that is dead on life support huh, just because you ain't ready to let it go. Huh. I need someone to know sometimes huh, God will allow some things to die huh, because you ain't strong enough to walk away from it. I want to say that one more time. Sometimes God allows some things to die because you ain't strong enough to walk away from Him. God allowed it to happen so you will realize what's important and what's not important. In this new perspective, you will gain what is a need and what is a want. What is essential and what is an option. What is a monster and what is a choice. This new perspective will tell you that those who will betray you and they will I want you to know this new perspective will tell you that those who have betrayed you will handle themselves. I know you don't want to make this up. I know you want to do something to get back at them. I know you want to make sure that they get what's coming to them. I know you want to make sure that they are dealt with, but I need to remind you. That the Bible says God will make your enemies your footstool. God says God will fight your battles. I know you don't want to hear this, but this, but but this, but those who betray you will self-destruct. I know you don't believe in Judas after he realized what he had done, went and committed suicide and killed himself. And I want to let you know that if we just sit back and let God be God. David will tell you his, all of his enemies destroyed themselves. Huh? Don't you know that God will confuse the enemy huh? and turn the enemy on themselves? Just ask the children of Israel. Huh? Just ask Esther. Huh? And she'll tell you the person who wanted to kill her and all of the Jews huh? end up being killed themselves. Huh? Ask Joseph huh? what they meant for evil. God will mean for your good. Ask Moses. Huh? They'll force you to use what you have to part the Red Sea. Ask Joshua. Huh? It'll make you walk, walk around walls for six days and say nothing. Huh? But on the seventh, they blow horns and sound trumpets. Huh? Watch God work it out. I close with this. In the movie, Solomon learned some things after the betrayal. After the betrayal, Solomon learned just because you hang out with folks doesn't mean they will help you. After the betrayal, Solomon learned just because you work together doesn't mean that they want to work with you. Huh? After the betrayal, Solomon learned just because you're in the same situation huh, doesn't mean that they want what's best for you. Solomon learned. Huh? After the betrayal, huh? just because you don't have much, huh? doesn't mean you're going to help them get more. Solomon learned after the betrayal, huh? just because you say you're going to do something, huh? doesn't mean that you will. I believe I got some folks in the house this morning huh? that have seen God do some things to the enemy in your own life. Huh? The enemy thought he had you. Huh? You were on the ropes, huh? but the enemy didn't know God was just waiting huh? on the right time to start fighting. Huh? The enemy thought he left you for dead, huh? but the enemy didn't know what God was allowing the enemy huh, to wear himself out huh, before God knocked the enemy out. Huh. The enemy thought you were going to keep up, huh, but the enemy didn't know that God was waiting on you huh, to ask God to come and help you. Huh. Has God shown up that old time? Huh. It was after the betrayal. Huh. That's the time who to trust huh, and who not to trust. Huh. After the betrayal, huh, you learn who to listen to huh, and who not to listen to. Huh. After the betrayal, huh, you learn who to talk to huh, and who not to talk to. Huh. 